Hello everybody, my name is Bongo and I'm going to be talking about the new action movie called Skyscrapers. Skyscrapers is an action film, is directed by uh, Rohide Martian something, it uh, doesn't matter what his name is. Anyway, this movie stars uh, the John Wayne, who is also called uh, Rocky. You probably know him from the uh, WWF wrestlings. So Rocky plays a guy who uh, is, um, is checking the security of a building. It's the biggest building in the entire world. You've never seen anything this big before. It's so big. And uh, then you have the bad guy uh, who wants this thing that uh, the man who invented the building, he has it. It's a red thing. It doesn't matter what it is. And the bad guy set the building on fire. Yeah. Yeah, the, the whole building is up in flames and the Rocky's family, his, his wife who is played by uh, the chick from Scream and his two little kids, they're in the building. So he's got to get in the building to save them and stop the bad guys. Now, uh, a lot of people are comparing uh, this movie Skyscrapers to the other movie called Dying Hard, which was came out in the, in the 70s, I think it was. And uh, I, I think this is unfair. The main problem I had with uh, Dying Hard is the, the movie, they put Bruce Williams in it. Now, why would you do that? A big action blockbuster movie, and you put a guy in it who is just like everybody else. You need to put in the action hero like uh, Chuck Connors or Arnold Schwarzkopf. So this time they got it right by putting Rocky in the film because he's he's a big action star and uh, and the only thing that's missing is a leg. He, he only has one leg. So I, I guess that's what they mean when they, you go to the gym and they say you skip leg day. <laughs> ah yeah, he totally skip leg day. But the one thing that I first of all noticed about the movie Skyscrapers is that it's a very smart movie because uh, the first act the, uh, everything that you see in the first act is, uh, is, is foreshadowing because it, it all comes back later on it is so clever and the script was brilliant brilliant what they do to, to make you feel comfortable with watching the movie is they put in a lot of things that you already seen before it's so clever so like all of the action scenes and the dialogues and uh, basically everything uh, you feel like you've seen it all before but th but this makes it good because you you know you feel comfortable watching the movie and there's a lot of things in the skyscrapers that keeps you getting guessing and wondering how it happened like uh, for instance when Rocky is in the building and he's doing all the action movie things uh, rescuing the families and uh, the stuff like that uh, all these people on the ground outside they're all watching him on like a news camera and and you keep wondering where is this news camera I I is it over here maybe maybe it's over here somewhere I don't know but it was very clever and also uh, a lot of things in the movie uh, you, you know how in life sometimes you, you have these coincidences happen like uh, for instance when you don't have uh, anything for lunch and you're walking past a banana tree and all of a sudden a banana just falls down and, and lands at your feet and, and then you, you have lunch. Well the same could be said for Rockies in this movie because uh, a, a lot of things happen like that that are, are just are so convenient but you know that's life. As far as the uh, bad guy in the movie, uh, well, there, there were lots of bad guys, but uh, I don't really know who any of them were. Uh, it, but it doesn't matter because they posed a threat for Rocky and, and his family. So realistically, you know, it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day who is playing the bad guys because uh, as long as they are bad guys, then that's all that matters. And my goodness, don't even get me started started on uh, the end sequence which oh wow it involves a lot of video screens and was the best thing I've 
ever seen in a movie. It was so exciting. So the, the screening of skyscrapers that I went to, uh, it looked like there was a lot of people in the audience who were kind of bored with the movie. But I, I don't understand what is wrong with these people because this movie is so exciting. It pretty much tick all the boxes of what you want in uh, action movies. And, uh, uh, action and uh, a big guy with huge muscles and uh, explosions. Oh my goodness, this movie has so many explosions. So I, I was talking with this guy who does this video channel, uh, Dan Jensen, and uh, you know, he didn't like the movie. He didn't like it. He said he would give it a 2 out of 10, which <laughs> uh, he really doesn't know what he's talking about. So you're lucky that uh, your good friend Bongo is reviewing this movie because seriously, it is the best movie I have seen in a long time and I'm going to give the skyscrapers 10 bananas out of 10. Okay, so thank you for taking the time to watch my first ever movie review of the skyscrapers and uh, if you've seen this movie, please tell me know what you thought about it because I bet you loved it as much as I did. So put your comments uh, down there somewhere as a thing you can write comments apparently. I, I don't know, I I'm not very good at typing. Uh, and then also I I've been told to tell you to hit the describe button. I don't know what that does. It helps you describe what you're seeing. Uh, maybe it's for deaf people. I don't know. So leave your friend Bongo some comments, let me know what you thought of the skyscrapers and uh, I'll catch you next time because I like talking about movies. What's that? Oh, and, and I like to talk about movies with you. Yes, I do. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now, so what have you got to lose? Nyaar.